This is a little intro for Game Salad, which is a tool or an app to make your own games. It's for free. You can make games for different platforms like the iPhone or the iPad, but also for HTML5, which is very nice because you can publish your games on the web for free or for paid, both options. And Game Salad is very good and it's very straightforward. So you can just go in the app and make your games from second one, so to speak. And um, it's not just any tool because some of the popular games have been made with Game Salad. So um, it has been trusted by good game developers and um, uh, games like The Secrets of Grizzly Manor have been made by uh, with Game Salad, with the, with the tool Game Salad and Zombie Drop also. Zombie Drop, um, by the way, is by a guy who is also making the tutorial videos for Game Salad. Maybe he is from the team of Game Salad. I don't know. So this is the website of Game Salad. Looks like this. You get a lot of information. You also have Pro version, which is four ninety nine. $499 a year. It's okay for developers. I mean, you save a lot of money without having to get coders and all the coding done. There is a arcade on it where you can test and play um, the games of other users and publish your own games for free, which is nice because you can get feedback and learn a lot about other games. Then the Game Salad Creator. That's actually the name of the software that you download and you can use to make your own games. And the cookbook is um, a fairly good um, library of answers to questions and tutorials um, how to use um, the Game Salad software. Then there's also the marketplace where you can buy and sell your own different graphics and sounds for games. It's also good. The pricing is okay, I would say. And the forum, which is very active. I got a lot of different responses and um, they are friendly and interesting guys, so um, it's very nice to interact with the people on the forum. Okay, let's jump into the software. Just download it, and when you download it and start, this is what you see. And you start with the area new on the left side here. I'll just close this window maybe so you see better. Okay. Um, what you see here is different games that have been developed by other gamers. Mostly those are tutorials, so you can see how um, the games work. If you develop a game, your game does not automatically appear here. You have to publish it and you have to allow while publishing that it can be used uh, by other players to be inspired to learn from your tool. So um, this is very nice. Um, we have different areas here, which is the home area, where you get interesting information about Game Salad. The news, which is kind of a newsreader about what's happening inside of Game Salad and the different kind of updates that are coming and what's happening. Start gives you a lot of um, different ways to learn how to use Game Salad. There is your profile, new we have already seen. Reason is what you've done reason and this is your portfolio. If you publish something, it will appear here so you can see what your portfolio is. And now we go to the Game Salad Creator. I mean, this is kind of the starting platform for the Game Salad Creator and this is the Game Salad Creator. It's very nice, it's very straightforward. So um, here you have scenes and actors. So it's very easy to see what you have done already, what you have inside of your game. And here, this is a very important part if you get started the first time, select what, which platform is it and what size it is. And um, as you can see, you can also do stuff um, for the MacBook, so uh, for the Mac App Store, so to speak. And um, Game Salad Arcade is if you want to publish it on the game Salad Arcade on the website of Game Salad. You can change this setting later on when uh, working in your game, but uh, it's best to select it first. I mostly choose iPad Landscape, so it warns me that it's changing the size of the game. Okay, so let's change that back to um, iPhone Landscape so you can see what I'm actually doing. And um, there's a lot of other information you can input here, like the title of the game, text for the game, instructions, how to play the game, and a description of the game, of course. Um, it's very easy. Here are the actors and let's do a little something to show you how it works. Um, I just take a picture of myself and pull it inside of the application so it creates an actor. It has the same name as the file, which is me in that case, and it has the right size as the picture size is. So here is our initial scene. We go to the scene and just pull 
my actor inside of the game and um, just by clicking the side and holding shift I can resize it in the right proportions. And now um, let's add a little gravity to the scene. So um, we go here in the scene area, gravity epsilon 500, I think is okay. And then we can test it. Bam, and that's it. My character is falling down. So you can go on and edit it more. So um, let's add another, another actor, call it ground. And um, we change the size. Wide is like say 800 and the height is one pixel. And um, it's not movable, of course. We go back to the scene. I add the ground to the scene. There it is, very easy. And then um, I go back to the character, create a rule. And if the character is colliding with the actor type ground, what it's doing is to collide, which is down here. Collide, just pull it here into the rule and the ground also needs the same rule. I forgot about that. Um, collide down actor ground. Does it do it collides with bounce when collide with actor ground? Ah, okay, good. No, actor me. Okay, also do that here with actor ground. And now we are done. This is it. Bam. It's colliding and it's jumping up and down. You also can change that. Well, you've seen how it works. Um, make your own games. Have fun. Enjoy.